Hi everyone, in the earlier video about how to use the recycle view, we managed to add multiple song instances and display them onto a recycle view. What was incomplete in the tutorial is that once the user queued off the app or restarted the, the phone, the playlist is lost. So let me show it to you. Right, so you can see that the all the song instances on the recycle view is lost. So this video tutorial is about how we can save the items of the playlist persistently onto the phone using shared preferences. So we want to learn how to store persistent data within the Android emulator or within an Android phone. So generally, there are three different ways one can store persistent data. Uh, the first one is using shared preferences. Okay, so for shared preferences, they allow you to save persistent data if they are string, integer, floats, etc. The second one is uh, to make use of a local SQL Lite database that's, that is available in your Android app. And the third one is to use an existing or rather an external database such as one that's residing in AWS or Azure. So in terms of complexity, in terms of uh, difficulty, uh, I would say that Method 2 and 3 is more challenging. Method 1 is actually very easy to implement. However, the problem that we have now is that our, the data that we are supposed to store is not in, in terms of string or integer, but it is of array list type. Okay, to be more specific, the array list contains many instances of the song object. So therefore, if we want to use the first method, we can make use of third-party library. So there's this third-party library known as Gsong. So the idea of using this particular library is that Gsong is able to help us serialize our array list into a string. And then we can use shared preferences to store the string. And Gsong is also able to reverse the process and which is from a string, it is able to reverse back into a release. Alright, so this tutorial is about how to use shared preferences together with Gsong in order for us to save persistent arrays. Okay, to start we need to find this file under grader scripts. This file build.grader module colon app. So double click on this file. So we need to over here under the dependencies, we need to type in the word implementation followed by com.google.code.json colon json colon 2.8. Uh, basically what we are doing is that we are telling Android Studio to go to this uh, domain here, this domain name here and download the third-party Java files which is JSON. So once Android Studio sends that uh, your greater file has changed, okay, it's going to prompt you that this particular warning, greater files have changed. A project sync may be necessary for the IDE to work properly. So what you should do is to sync now. So at this point of time, basically Android Studio is going to look through all your dependencies and then download all the necessary dependencies that is needed for your Android Studio project. Okay, and it's done now. Alright, the first thing that we want to do is to test out the third-party class JSON. So basically, uh, uh, this particular method here is that when the user click on the song instant, it is going to add the song instant to the array list. Right, so I'm going to test out the JSON. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to type JSON 
right? So immediately you can see that JSON is here. JSON. JSON equals to new JSON. So we are instantiating a new instance of the JSON class, right? So basically now what we need to do is we have a string variable JSON is equals to basically we just need to put JSON, uh, which is the instant name here, JSON dot, and we use the method which is to to JSON, all right, to JSON, and then uh, what is the what is the object that we want to change it to a JSON string, which is faithless, right? So it's faithless. Okay, and basically after line 55, uh, JSON, the this string variable here, basically is going to contain your uh, so-called the JSON string represent representation of your fifth list. So let's log it out for us to check. Log. So let's put the tag to be JSON, and then uh, the string we'll just put JSON. All right. To to log out this particular string. All right. So we can run our emulator. And what we want to do is we want to because there are many things here, so we can filter based on our key, right? JSON. All right. So our app is uh, is now launched. So I'm going to just click one time, right? So you can see the moment I click because it called this app to favorite. So you can see we have a string here, right? So this is an array, uh, a string, an array, but it is expressed as a string, and inside there's a there is a JSON object, right? So this is the one. So if I clear it, okay, clear away. And then I add another one. That means I have two items inside. So let's double check whether do we have two items. We have one Michael Bube. So and then we should find another one which is here. Right? Michael Jackson. Alright, so it is working now. Okay, so now we want to uh use the shared preferences to write a persistent file into the Android phone or the Android emulator. So shared preferences, shared preferences. So I'm creating a variable higher up in scope uh, because later on we are going to need, we need to use this variable in couple of places. All right, so shared preferences will be equals to get shared preferences so the first argument is the name of the file that you want to create. So I'm going to call it playlist. The second one is the mode underscore private. Uh, basically, this means that uh, the file when it's created in your emulator or in your phone is only accessible to this app and not to other apps, right? Next, uh, we are going to write the code to write the string into the into the physical file itself so so we know that whenever we press this particular uh, plus sign it is going to call this function right it's going to add one instance to the playlist right and then here uh, what we did was we convert it to we use the JSON and we convert it to become a string right so we are going to write this string into the shared preferences okay so now I'm going to Check preferences dot editor. So we need to create one editor instance because uh, through this instance, then we can write it to the file. Check preferences dot edit. All right. Next, editor dot put string. So we are writing uh, a, a normal string. Okay, a normal string. So put string and we specify a key so the key will be our uh, we can call it list all right that's the key and the value will be json right this particular string here okay so i'm going to show you another thing if you go to view and you go to 
two windows and you select device file explorer right so you are going to see a few folders here and you should expand on the data folder right and then uh, expand on the data folder again and now you should look for the folder which matches your package name so this is your package name right so mine is musicstream2.tp.edu.sg so you scroll down and then yeah right musicstream2.tp.edu.sg so I'm going to select it right and if you right click and you choose synchronize basically is to update the files here alright so here you can see that I have a folder called shared preferences but it is an empty folder so now I'm going to run my app Alright, so I'm going to add one instant onto the into the playlist. I click on it. It's going to call this. It's going to call this method, and it's going to write into the shared preferences. So when I come over here, and I'm going to update the folder here, I choose synchronize. Okay, so uh, that's because I forget to apply. Okay, so I need to put editor dot apply. All right. So uh, the the actual writing of your string onto the file will only take place after you issue this command editor dot apply. So I'm going to run again. Right, so add one item and then I come here and I choose synchronize right so you can see there's a file right playlist right uh, why is it called playlist because that is the name of the file that we have given right playlist so if I double click on this playlist you can see that it has it has the Michael Bobe string right so let me try again to click again all right and then if i double click on this one okay uh, let me just uh, choose synchronize double click so i should have two item here right so you can see one item here and then another item another item is is over here right okay next we want to come to the on create method we want to write some codes so that uh, the code is going to read from the read from this particular file right and it's going to read are there any existing value inside the key which is list if there is we are going to uh, do the reverse process to use the JSON to convert it back to a ReList so that we can display our playlist. Okay, so I'm going to create a string. String, uh, I call it albums is equals to shared preferences dot get string. So we are going to provide the key which is list. The second argument is the default value. So what is the default value is that if such a key is not present then albums is going to take on this value right so you can imagine that if the app is first time uh, starting up then basically there will not be such a such a key right there will not be such a uh, shared preferences playlist so therefore albums is going to get an empty value so we are going to use a simple if if albums dot equal to if it's equals to empty value and I'm going to put in uh, exclamation meaning if album is not equal then I'm going to do this alright so uh, we need to have uh, this type token object 
so probably this is the the only part that is uh, quite compli complicated so we need to put in a release song and then token is equals to new type token array array list song right and then a pair of curly brace and then semicolon all right next uh, create same thing create a json object new json and then we are going to take faith list which is this static variable here faith list will be equals to so this is the reverse process json dot from json right from json and then the first one is the string right the string which is albums comma and we need to tell json what is the type of the array list or the object json is supposed to convert back okay which is this particular type here right so we pass in token here token and then we need to put get type okay so if everything is working then if you remember we have two we have two item in the playlist right right the key is list right we have two item here so if everything is working then if i go to my playlist i should see two items so let's see so i run it If I go to the playlist, right, I should see two items here. Yeah, okay, two items. That's good. So now, if I add more, okay, so there are many items in the playlist. So I'm going to stop stop my app I'm going to run again so I should see many items now in the playlist okay let's go to the playlist okay let's try one final thing all right so which is we need to go to the device explorer okay over here Okay, let's delete away this file to simulate the start the, the first time running of this app. Delete. Alright. So I'm going to run it now. Okay, to make sure that the app is not crashing. Okay, so it looks okay. So basically now this part will not be this part here will not be triggered because there's nothing inside the list and therefore albums is empty string and therefore this if condition will become false so if i go to the playlist i shall see an empty playlist which is correct okay so uh, what you can do for this tutorial follow-up is that you can use the same method so that whenever the user remove any of the items from the playlist you need to update the shared references Alright, so I hope you find this video tutorial useful.